G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Did you know that Fortnite had added a fun, new, easy way to get a ton of XP this season? Well they have. They're called punch cards and if you're having trouble getting them done or you just want to know what every single one of them are, well you're in luck because in this video we're going to be going through those punch cards, revealing what every single one of them are and how you can get them done nice and easily. But before we get into that, if you are new here, please consider subscribing with the notifications on so you don't miss any new content. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you slap a like on it. And as always, leave a comment down below to let us know what you thought. Let's get into the punch cards. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Hypex for tweeting this out. If you guys are looking for up-to-date and accurate leaks on Fortnite, I'd highly suggest giving him a follow on Twitter or YouTube, which I'll link down below for you guys. So the first punch card we have is streaking. Now this punch card relates to getting elimination streaks, which I would highly suggest doing in Team Rumble as you need to get more than one elimination in a short span of time. There's five different accolades here. So you'll need to do five different games to complete this one. The next one we have is weapons expert. So for this one, you need to get different weapons expert accolades. You do that by getting more than 250 damage in one game with that weapon. Once again, would highly suggest doing that in Team Rumble because you've got AR, SMG, pickaxe, pistol, shotgun, explosives. There are you know quite a few different ones to do. We then move into first, which is different first in a match. So this would be things like first to land, first to fish, all those sorts of things. So they're nice and easy to do and to be honest, require probably a little bit of luck. We then move on to hooked, which is our fish catching one for this season. I'll also just mention these are all worth 14,000 XP each. So a fair bit of XP considering there's, I think close to 50 of them, I think 49 all up. So a fair bit of XP to be had. Now the fish one goes up each tier. So the first one is one, then 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. And that's what you'll need to do to complete that one. We then move on to green is good, which is about the green XP coins you can find around the map. Once again, they go up with each tier, starting with three, then 10, 20, 30, and 40 to complete all of those ones. We then move around to the purple is precious, which is pretty much the same thing, except this is for the purple XP coins. Once again, it goes up with each tier. We then have that's a lot of damage, which is about damage dealt to opponents. Once again, probably another one for rumble. Rumble, you'd probably smash a heap of these out. And once again, this one goes up with each tier. We then have leave your legacy, which is about the legacies during season three. For those of you who are wondering what a legacy is, a legacy is something like riding a loot shark, throwing a consumable, winning a match, something like that. So you'll need to get different ones of those to complete that one. We then move on to lumberjack, which is about destroying trees. So once again, that goes up with each different tier and basically pretty self-explanatory. You just have to destroy trees. The next one is assault rifle eliminations once again. Pretty self-explanatory. This one's called lock and load. Goes up with each tier and you have to get eliminations with an assault rifle. Once again, like I've been saying, great for Team Rumble. Weapon Whisperer. Now, I don't know why this picture has the fish caught up the top. I think that must be a mistake. But this one is about getting eliminations with different weapon types, which you'll see down towards the bottom. And obviously that's just getting an elimination with the different types of weapons. So pistol, SMG, assault rifle, shotgun, explosive, pickaxe, etc. That's how you do that one. Then we have high explosives, which is basically for getting explosive eliminations. Same as what we had for the assault rifle. And it just goes up with each tier. We then have from downtown. So opponents eliminated from over 150 meters away. Snipers or assault rifle kills from a long distance. And this one goes up again with each tier. We then move on to like a boss, which is getting henchmen eliminations. Moves up to a thousand at the last tier, which is quite a hefty amount. So you're gonna wanna drop in the agency, or sorry, the authority now, those type of places and get some henchmen kills, essentially. Then there's get off my lawn. <laughs> nice title. That, this is about the Marauder eliminations. Oh my God, how annoying are the Marauders this season? Those things are absolutely OP. So for this one, we have to basically get eliminations of those guys, which are gonna be much harder than the henchmen because they're obviously a lot higher skilled. And this one goes up to a thousand as well. So that's a lot of Marauders to kill. We then move on to pick your battles. This one's basically get an elimination with a pickaxe and there's only one of them to do. 
We then move on to trusty sidearm, which is pistol eliminations. Great one for rumble. I'm not the biggest fan of the pistol in the main mode. I know a lot of people are fans of the purple and gold pistol, but not really my thing. I call shotgun is the next one. This one's about shotgun eliminations. Everyone should get this one done because let's face it, a shotgun is a staple of anyone's loadout, similar to an AR. Spray and Prey follows that, which is about SMG eliminations. Should be easy enough to get for that one as well. The next one up is Bullseye, which is sniper rifle eliminations. This one should be a lot easier to get this season considering there are a lot more types of snipers in the match and they do seem to spawn a lot more often. The next one we have is Enforcer, which is just players eliminated. So that's just getting player eliminations, quite simple with any way, shape or form. We then move on to Reel It In, which is fishing spots used. This is not how many fish you catch, rather how many fishing spots you use. Once again, goes up with each tier. We then have Stockpile, which is building materials harvested. So this is wood, steel and brick, just total building materials harvested. Then comes Hoarder, which is simultaneously held 999 of each building resource. So basically getting to max mats. That's all you have to do for that one. Get all your stockpile up to max mats, which I shouldn't say it like that's easy. It's just boring. Nice and easy one though to get done because it's only one challenge. Bite-sized, quick challenges completed. They're the new ones that are on the side of your home screen. They go for 14K XP at the start and then 1.4K after that. They seem to be almost infinite and they are a nice addition to get some quick XP. So that's how you do that one. Next we have Survivor. This one's basically just about getting top 10 placements. If this is in Rumble, I'd say that'd be the easiest way to do it because obviously every game is top 10. If not, squads because there's less numbers, 100 people in solos compared to 25 teams in squads. Next we have Completionalist. This is completed punch cards. So as you complete punch cards, you complete this punch card. Interesting. We then have double dipping, which is punch card punches. Once again, quite similar to the last one. We then come to turn it off and on again, which is teammates rebooted. So this is when your teammate goes down, you take their card, you go to a reboot van and you reboot them. Pretty simple. We then have back on your feet, which is about reviving your teammates. So not rebooting, but reviving. So while they're not quite eliminated yet, they're only knocked, go over to them, revive them, and you'll earn towards this punch card. We then have Yeehaw, which is Rotoloot Shark. Pretty simple, chuck your line in near a shark. Eventually it'll go for it and you ride the shark. Easy. Next we have Munition Scavenger. So for this one, basically it's just searching ammo boxes. Nice and simple, doesn't matter where, just searching ammo boxes. We then come to Treasure Hunter, which is chest searched. Same as the ammo boxes, except it's just chess. We then have Luck of the Llama, which is search llama supplies. Same as the last two, this time it's llamas. Finders Keepers comes up next, which is about rare chests, same as the last three, except you guessed it, this time it's rare chests. We then have Care Package, which is the same as the last four, but you guessed it, this time it's supply drops. We then have Centurion, which is reach level 100. You can always just buy it like me <laughs> or just get the punch cards done, which now you have all the information for. We then come to Shake It Off, which is for Shakedown. So this is when you've knocked an opponent, you can go up to them and shake them down and find out where their teammates are. And that's how you get that one done. All right, so next we have Balloon Buster, which is basically just shooting down a supply drop. So as you see a supply drop falling, shoot it down. The next one is Apples to Oranges. So for this one, you only need to side grade a weapon. If you don't know what that is, you can find upgrade weapon stations all around the map, go up to them. If your weapon can be upgraded and you have enough materials to upgrade it, you can upgrade your weapon from there. After that, we have Good Manners. This is about thanking the bus driver. Pretty simple one. Make sure you thank the bus driver's good manners. Always a good thing to have. After that, we have yeet, throw an item. So we all know what yeet is. Get an item, yeet it. The next one after that is gray to gold. This is about upgrading weapons to different rarities. So similar to the last one, except it's about the different rarities. We can green, gold, purple, etc. Following that, we have rags to riches, which is weapons upgrade again, except this is by the amount of weapons you have upgraded and goes up with each tier. The next one we have is living off the land. This is foraged items gathered or consumed. So this is things like chilies, apples, mushrooms, etc. And for me, the best place to find these are probably places like the orchard or weeping woods. However, with the new update, there is a lot more of those around in the new fruit boxes. We then have give it a whirl, which is use a whirlpool. We only have to do this once, so nice and easy. Fly out towards where all the water is. You'll see a little swirl on the map. That's a whirlpool. 
The next one is called Weekly Challenges. This one is basically just for getting your weekly challenges complete and you'll finish that punch card doing that. Following that, we have Weirdly Specific, which is danced while riding a zip line in the storm. Weirdly specific indeed. Luckily, there's only one of those. We then come to Victory Tour, which is matches one in different modes. Obviously, you've got your squads, solos, then you come to your LTMs, you've got duos, etc. Well, that's all 49 punch cards. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below and comment to let us know what you thought. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.